If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're a returning supporter, thank you so much. Okay, so y'all know I like to remember, so we're gonna get right. Oh, before I get into the video, y'all, hold on, let me see. Y'all see my skin, how it looks so smooth and it's just so radiant, <laughs> glowing, glistening. So I picked up new products this week. It, it was totally unintentionally, but I met this beautiful woman. She has a skincare line. And then, you know, I love to support anybody that I can. So without further ado, so we have two, I have two products I want to show you. But first is this sweet watermelon. I don't know if it's backwards or not when you guys look at it, but everything will be down below. Her website will be tagged down below. And I purchased this stuff maybe five days ago, maybe. Yeah. And as you can see, it's almost gone. Now, mind you, I love skincare. I have other body scrubs that I use, but ever since I used this one, I've been neglecting the other ones. The other ones are like, oh my God, use me please. But it, smell, it smells so good. It's summer watermelon. I don't know if I said sweet watermelon because it just smells so sweet. And if you love those fruity smells, this is gonna be perfect for the summer. And I know it's only spring, but you can never, you know, be too proactive. <laughs> but yes, I love this. Her name is Kia, by the way. The other thing I purchased from her, and I will be going back to get probably all of her products, but when I ran into her, she only had a few on hand. And I don't know if y'all like me, but I don't really like ordering stuff. I, I, I want it right here, right now. And, and Amazon spoiled us, but we're not talking about Amazon right now. But the other one is a body oil. This one is called I Am A Unicorn. It has a really soft, like subtle, sweet scent to it it's this smells so good so i of course use my body scrub and then i come in and then i use this and it has like a shimmer to it a light shimmer to it i don't know if you guys can tell if you guys can see but yes yeah, so please if you're interested link is down below but okay now let's get into the topic at hand so as you can see by the video today we will be talking about just some signs that are maybe not so subtle to let you know that you have a genuine friend because these days you just never know why somebody want to be your friend like what's the intention and when you have a good heart you don't think that other people are being malicious or they may be having some ill intentions because you know yourself you're not moving that way so the first sign i would like to talk about <laughs> is your friend is not trying to one-up you all the time. You're telling your friend these great accomplishments you made or maybe you just got a promotion or you're about to start something new and you're just like so giddy and excited and you're rambling about it because you're excited. And then all of a sudden, here they come. Oh my God, I just did this, I just did that. And it's not to say your friend can't share their accomplishments with you but when if you notice that every time you're telling them something good that's going on or something you just did and they always have to combat it with something that they just did that's a sign that they're trying to one up you like for example oh my god i just got a raise and i just got this new position at my job and then here they come like oh yeah i just got a whole new job and the salary just skyrocketed and such 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 and all this other stuff like allow it, it even if you find yourself doing that sometimes because we have to do self-reflection if you if you heard that sign and you like dang i think i might do that it doesn't necessarily mean you're a bad friend or you're not a genuine friend but some people are just so wrapped up into themselves that they don't really notice the things that they're doing like that so if your friend shares something with you and this is somebody you really care about and you don't want to come off as an ingenuine person allow them to have that shine allow them to bask in their happiness and bask in their achievement and their accomplishment and then maybe later during that day or just another time bring up something that you're trying to accomplish or something that you accomplished that way it doesn't always seem like this back and forth kind of banter like oh you did this well i did this uh uh you know you got me okay and i don't want to ramble with all these signs because 
so most of them are self-explanatory if you want to do your homework on some of the other stuff i mentioned then yes so let's move on to the next sign another sign that someone is a genuine friend to you is if they remember the little things like you tell them something is happening maybe two three weeks from now or whatever whether it's good or bad they follow up with you and they check on you like hey how was that presentation you had to do how was that interview you had or even if you're going through turmoil and you're like stressed out and you're telling them about a situation that you're trying to overcome or that you're overcoming and then you know later a couple days they check on you like hey how are you feeling or hey has anything changed and it's not somebody trying to just inquire and be in your business to see what's going on but they actually care about how you're doing like they want to celebrate with you they want to have your back they just want to be there a num another sign that someone's a genuine friend is if they don't allow you to make a fool of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, say you come into them and you're upset and you're like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say this. I'm going to blah, blah, blah. And I know everybody, you, you want to be a supportive friend for your friend. So you're like, yeah, girl, I'm getting in that car with you. We're going to throw eggs at his house. We're going to do this and that. But a real friend will know that that's not even conducive to any growth is not going to change anything it's actually going to be bringing you down because you have to stoop to that level that you're trying to hurt somebody else or you're trying to disrespect somebody else a real friend is going to tell you like look it's not worth it you shouldn't even be doing that let that situation go now if y'all need to go get like get a drink or talk about the situation let her vent allow her to do that but a friend is not going to allow you to post on social media things that make you look like a fool they're not going to allow you to do things to put yourself in harm's way and they're just going to tell you when you're wrong they're not always just going to be like oh yeah since this is my friend i'm not going to tell them that that was the wrong thing to do i'm going to support them no matter what because a lot of people get supporting your friend mixed up with just agreeing with everything that they want to do or that they say but a genuine friend is going to tell you when you're wrong okay remember that is don't get offended if you're having a conversation with your friend and they're not like oh yeah you're right or they're not backing you up 100 percent because you shouldn't even want a yes man around you because sometimes when we're angry or we're in the, you know, not in the best place, we tend to make not the best decisions. So we have to make sure the people that we're surrounding ourselves with is going to be thinking clearly. They're going to be telling you the right thing to do or at least trying to, trying to guide you into the right direction. Because at the end of the day, everybody can make their own decisions and do whatever they want to do. This is like one of my favorite signs. I don't even know why I didn't start it off as number one. But one of the best signs that somebody is a genuine friend and they're just a good person for you is you feel free in their energy. Like you don't feel pressured, you don't feel obligated, you don't feel weird tension, like you just feel so happy and free in their energy. And I don't know if some of you guys have seen, maybe they're like um, those friends that you can just sit in the house with, sit in the room with and just be completely silent on your phone and it's just nice vibes like you don't even have to be talking you feel at home so that's like a really big one like you just feel so safe around them like you just want to tell them all your crazy ideas because you know they're not going to judge you and you know they're going to be honest with you about things and you know they're also going to support you and they're not going to because it say you do tell them one of them, you, those crazy ideas and your head you're already thinking it's crazy but they like wait hold on that can work so you know what that leads me to the next sign a sign of a genuine friend is somebody who is going to push you to be your best self every time like they're going to notice when you're slacking they're going to notice when you're just not putting your best effort and they're going to push you and they're going to give you those hard talks and they're going to tell you look listen you got to snap into it like you got to come on get it together because they know and they see your potential and they want you to be your best self because they they want to be their best selves and they know that it is unhealthy to surround yourself with people who don't see themselves going to that next level who's not putting in that work for themselves and putting in that care for themselves okay so 
yes that's that's another favorite right there they're like look you've been chilling way too hard like what's going on remember that idea you told me have you started it when you gonna start it like they even go and throw ideas at you like and they're not doing it to get the credit they're not doing it so you can thank them later like oh if it wasn't for nadia i wouldn't have did this i wouldn't have thought this like they're not doing it because of that they're doing it because they believe in you and they see how powerful and in the strength that you have inside of you and everybody needs a cheerleader honestly it makes you feel more empowered to keep doing what you're doing it's just, just even when those days come and it's hard for you to get up and record the video get up and post the tiktok get up and you know just post on your business page your regular page just to just feel like yourself because they want you to be your best self at all times another sign that someone is a genuine friend is they understand you on a deeper level now i'm not talking about those friendships that you just met people like a year or, i mean even a year is yeah because you can learn a lot about somebody within a year depending on how much they open up to you etc etc but they understand you on a deeper level like you told them your trauma your wounds and such and such so they can notice like i know that's why she reacted this way because she has an xyz wound i know that she's responding this way because she's been through so much trauma and such and such and, it, and it's not for them to make excuses for you but by them knowing you on a deeper level they can help they can connect to you better and they can talk to you better and figure out ways to help you grow from whatever you're going through and just give you pointers and tips because they will understand like okay i know this isn't all about me i know this is their trauma that they're healing from that i need to reassure them i need to make sure they know that i'm not doing xrz i'm not cheating i'm not being disloyal to them because somebody who's been through a lot of trauma a lot of wounds or whatever there's things that trigger a person and you don't just heal overnight you know so if you're taking those steps to heal and that person knows what you're doing and they know where you came from then they're not going to beat you up about all you know the reactions that you make they're not making excuses i want to emphasize on they're not making excuses for you but they understand where you're coming from and by them understanding they you you guys can communicate better and things won't just be blown out of proportion but yeah, we gonna leave that where it's at. <laughs> About to wrap this up, okay? I promise, because we want this is a quick video. But another sign that somebody is a genuine friend to you is they protect your reputation. When you're not in the room and people trying to say stuff about you, they shutting it down. If somebody is saying um, you act a certain way or you're a negative person or whatever because of their experience with you, maybe they're one or two experiences with you or something they heard from somebody else and they're just repeating it. If you have a genuine friend in that room, that you're gonna re they're gonna either did the conversation period because you're not in the room or they're gonna back you up like no she's not like this she's this is actually how she is that wasn't you just caught her at a bad moment whatever they're gonna protect your reputation at all costs no matter if they look like they d riding or whatever they don't care because you're their friend and they're not gonna allow somebody to tear you down or spread a false narrative about you or even if it's not false even if it is something that's true they're not going to allow people to sit around and talk about you and you know what they say if if somebody come back to you and tell you something that somebody was saying about you it's because they were comfortable standing around that person and then you got to sit back well okay well what did you say what, what was your response why why was the conversation even that long about me when you were in the room and you're supposed to be my friend think about it so those are some signs that you have a genuine friend or just signs to look out for when you're getting back out here trying to make new friends we're getting old well i don't know how old you are watching this video but every year we're getting older we're not getting any younger so it's best to cultivate these healthy habits know these healthy things so that you can move through life a lot easier and avoid a lot of drama avoid a lot of fakeness uh, just avoid a lot of things that are unnecessary and unconducive to your life growing to be the best version of yourself and before we you know conclude this video i do want to say the biggest thing to take from this video is to surround yourself with people 
who are on the same path as you, on the same journey as you, and they want the same things out of life. And I'm not talking the exact same thing. You know what I mean? It's more broader, but they want to grow. They want to be financially responsible. They want to own a business, maybe. They want to travel they like traveling and trying new things like find people who have things in common with you that are not those negative things you know what i'm saying surround yourself with people who uplift you you uplift them they know that they're the s-h-i-t because if somebody know that they the s-h-i-t did i even spell that right i'm having a mama d moment oh my god s-h-i-t <laughs> and yes she is a bitch B-I-C-T-H, and in that order. Okay, if they know that they the S-H-I-T, then they gonna see that you the S-H-I-T too, because people see in others what they see in themselves. So, hmm. Surround yourself by like-minded people, positive people that are just want to grow and become their best self. And I think everything will fall, you know, fall into place after that. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting me if you're here. And just viewing the video is enough for me. You don't have to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> no, yes, you do. Yeah, 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 you do. <laughs>